The video element displays a video file or a YouTube or Vimeo video. It has a video field which opens the media library where you can select your video or where you can enter a link from YouTube or Vimeo. Of course, you can set the video dimensions. Additionally, the video element comes with a poster frame field. This is an optional image which shows up until the video plays. If no poster frame is selected, the first video frame is shown as the poster frame. The video element can be set to loop, autoplay, mute, and it can additionally play inline on mobile devices. Mind that if you would like your video to autoplay on mobile, make sure it is muted. Additionally, instead of starting the autoplay from the very beginning, you can also disable it or start it as soon as the video enters the viewport. Now let's take a look at the video element settings. You can set a box shadow as well as a box decoration for the video. Choose between the default, primary or a secondary box decoration or select a floating shadow or a mask as a box decoration.